Hi everyone, it's Jenna the Hearth Witch and tonight I get to unbox my very first Sabbat box. So excited. Oh my god. I've actually been like waiting for the, for the mail band to come out all day long. Um, I've heard about Sabbat box for months. I read everybody's blogs. I um, watched all the unboxings on YouTube and I got stuck on the, the waiting list. Yeah, for like months. It was it was probably it was probably mid to late summer because it was before Maybin. So I've been watching everyone get their boxes and I've been waiting. Now I don't have to wait anymore because this is my first box. So the interesting thing about this, this is in bulk and I have not opened it. It just came. Um, so we're gonna open it together. So I think you've seen this before. I guess I should cover up my name and address so you don't come looking for me or stuff. But it is very nondescript. I mean, I have totally nosy neighbors, but they wouldn't even know that this was anything interesting at all. So, are you excited? I'm excited. Okay. I haven't opened it at all, so I haven't seen anything. Get my hair out of my face. Um, I have seen this though, because they sent out an email with the theme. So this is Nature's Renewal. This is the Inbulk Sabbath. I don't actually celebrate Inbulk. Um, I celebrate, because I'm not Wiccan necessarily, so I celebrate the um, solstices and the equinoxes, but I don't necessarily celebrate all of the halfway ones. But I'm gonna celebrate this year, because I got an Inbulk box. So I think you've seen this before, so it all comes neatly wrapped. A little sticker. And it says, let's get witchy. So excited. All right. So, the first thing I see is, okay, I have to put my glasses off. It's so lame. Getting old is hard, y'all. Lunar Renewal Tea. Nourish, support, and dream. Milky oat tops, oat straw. Keep you see that? There you go. Oat straw, alfalfa, raspberry leaf, jasmine blossoms, vanilla rooibos, and mugwort. That seems really interesting. Cosmophilia. All right. Let's see what the little... Why we chose it. Lunar Renewal Tea, part of the blah, blah, Lunar Renewal Tea was made up of blah, blah, blah. They just chose it because I liked tea. It's fine with... <gasps> Palo Santo! I... Look, this is my... Under my altar, I have Palo Santo that I used to scent the house and to do smudging and stuff. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful scent. Really good for smudging, for clearing and cleaning, and um, just just an amazing, amazing wood. So I'm so excited! I got more Palo Santo. Yay! Um, white ritual tapers. This is for purification. Me. If I remember correctly, this was the same company that sent out. Candles in the boxes for for Samhain. Again, was watching everyone's videos, stalking your videos. Love it. Um, this is it the Llewellyn books, which apparently are in every box. So this is the in bulk one. Rituals, recipes, and lore for Bridget's Day. Exciting. Um, there's a couple more things in here. There's, I think they always, oh wait, hang on, hold the phone. Oh, it's a clear quartz, love it. I can't get it out, but I love it. I'll add that to my little growing collection on the windowsill. There you go, baby. You can stay up with my lodestone. I'll show you guys that in a minute. 
All right, so let's uh, take a step back here. So they chose the, um, the Palo Santo for purification, cleansing, protection, and then they also chose the, the ritual tapers um, as a focal point for any purification work that you're doing, etc. So that I think is really cool. And then we have, so what about the quartz? What did they say about the quartz? A mystical stone with mystical lore. A stone of clarity, power, and peace. Love it. Okay. I'm sitting here with this in my lap, if you're wondering. I'm sure you aren't, but whatever. I have an oil. This is a sun's eye. Looks like a ritual oil. For Bridget. I she used to have a boss named Bridget. She was sweet. Yeah, I assume she is still sweet. Our goal at Sabbath Box is to provide magical inspiration, blah, blah, blah. Celtic Goddess Bridget. Beautiful. Just use your, okay, now we're at the good stuff. Use your Bridget ritual oil to help banish what no longer serves you and embrace what is to come. So. This whole box has very much a purification theme. You have um, the Palo Santo, the purification candles, the stone itself, the quartz stone, and then Bridget, being a goddess of fire, as I understand it, has a bit of the purification um, focus in her as well. So that's cool. And my last thing, which is actually really cool. It's an altar cloth. This is, okay, it's really big. You can't see my face. See, look at that. That's gorgeous. It's interlocking circles. Let's see what it says. This will be perfect for my little altar. I have a little, actually the computer is sitting on it right now. It's a little square um, black table. So this will be absolutely perfect. Many pagans uh, know that, that work magic, ritual, or perform spell work use a designated sacred space. Being that in bulk is, is a time of renewal and change, we decided to add a new altar cloth in each box. 36 by 36, and it's gorgeous. So, I have a brand new altar cloth for my altar. I have some purification Palo Santo, um, white purification candles, a crystal, quartz crystal, which I will need to cleanse and focus, and then the Bridget oil. the envelope book and some tea to drink probably before the ritual. I would say all of this stuff really kind of puts me into mind of a, of a cleansing or purification ritual. Um, so what I probably would do is take um, a bath, like a salt bath before the ritual and I would drink this lunar renewal tea. And then I would use the Bridget oil to both invoke the goddess as well as to fix these candles. Um, I would use the Palo Santo to purify the airs and the circle as, as well as, as purify myself. And I will probably take this stone um, since it did come with all of these things and basically clear it, cleanse it, and then um, probably during the ritual, um, dedicate it to purifying my sacred space, which is where it's going to live. I love it. 
Love it. So worth the money. Oh my God. I wish I'd been able to get them before, but I'm grateful that I have them now. And well done, Sabbath Box. Well done. Thanks, guys. Hope, hope you're having a great time and that you're manifesting everything that you need and want in your life. And I wish you peace.